Hi, Air Science, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. So, today we're going to take a look at and see uh, what does your crush see in you, okay? So, what are they attracted to you about most? Um, how do they see you through their eyes, okay? What are your, what are, you know, uh, your favorite qualities of this. This is going to be a general reading, so please just be mindful of that. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will be listing my email address just below the video here. Okay, guys, take a moment. Um, picture your crush. Pause the video if you have to. Take as long as you have to. No rush, no pressure. Um, really want you to focus on your energy here, on your person's energy, and we'll go ahead and see what is it that they find most alluring about you. Bottom of the deck, you have the star card, okay? You are definitely one of a kind. You've definitely attracted um, the attention of your crush here. Okay, this is someone who sees you as... Um, you, you, you've honestly brought a lot of light into their lives, into their darkness here. This person sees you as unique, okay? They've never quite met anyone like you before, okay? This, feels, this person feels as though... Your, um, you're your own person, okay, your, your own individual, they've, they're very attracted to you, yes, okay, there's a very strong physical attraction, a strong sexual attraction, a strong chemistry, but the, it goes beyond that, it's so much more than just a physical attraction, this person honestly feels, um, they're attracted to you also on a soul level, okay, so it feels like you guys communicate, your souls communicate with one another, and this is why this this is why this person feels like you are a blessing because they felt they feel like you're destined. You know they were destined to have met you, and they feel truly, they feel very lucky to have met you. They feel very lucky to, you know, if this is someone whom you're pursuing a connection, or even if this person is a past energy here, this uh, this romantic energy. This but this is someone who feels so privileged to have crossed paths with you so lucky that you've decided to look their way and give them a chance this is someone who does hold you in like on a bit of a pedestal okay they they are in awe of you they're in awe of your beauty your mind your intellect your energy the way that you carry yourself the way that you present yourself i feel like this is someone who is crushing on you inside and outside as well this is someone who are, this person feels like you're one in a million and they understand that they would never be able to replace you well, they understand that it's very unlikely that they'll ever meet anyone like you before. This person feels a sense of home, a sense of peace, a calmness and serenity whenever they're with you. They're definitely attracted to this, you have this youthful, playful kind of energy, this childlike innocence here. And they find that a very attractive and very endearing quality. There's also something about you here where it feels like your energies play very well together with theirs. Like they feel like you guys just click and you get on and you bring out their inner child or they bring out your inner child here this is someone who's also quite a romantic so to them they can't wait to um you know to, to do all these sweet romantic gestures for you or they can't wait to shower you with a little bit of romance love and attention this is someone who's like they're excited to see you next, they're planning, you know, the next date with you or, you know, if you're not dating just yet, then this person is thinking about what it would be like to date you, to have you as, you know, as a girlfriend or boyfriend here. Uh, they definitely admire your strength and your resilience here, okay? Uh, maybe this is someone whom you have shared a lot of yourself with this person and maybe this is why your person, you know, has now got to know and understand you on a very soulful and soul-honoring level here. 
This is someone who understands that you have experienced a lot of hurt, pain, a lot of emotional anguish, betrayal or rejection in the past. And they feel as though you, that's made you stronger. And this is something that's, you know, it, it didn't tear you down. It didn't bring you, it didn't bring you down. It, 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 you may have hit, there may have been a point in your life where you hit emotional rock bottom and you may have shared this with this person. But it's made you that much stronger because of it. And this person is absolutely, you know, they admire your strength. They admire your resilience here. They admire that whatever it was here was, you know, so big to tear you down. But you were so strong that you withstood this storm, right? I do feel like for a lot of you listening to this, this is a past energy. This crush, it feels like something he didn't... Okay, life happened. Life got in the way. Let's say, let's call it that. But something didn't necessarily get, something didn't necessarily unfold the way in which you want it to. And it feels like maybe this person is a past energy. Okay, so it could be someone from the past. It could be an ex, this crush, this romantic energy here. Um, or maybe this person is, maybe this crush had an opportunity with you, but they missed it. And this is someone who regrets doing that. Like they kick themselves for not taking that chance, not taking the opportunity. I don't know if they robbed themselves of that opportunity. I don't know if the two of you just never really got a chance to get to know one another. You know, whatever happened here, this person regrets not making a move, not, you know, um, asking you out here. You're very independent. They feel like you're someone who, they love the way you carry yourself, the way, the, the way, the, sorry, let's begin again, shall we? They love the way you style your hair. They love the perfume that you wear. They love your dress sense, your clothing style, because it either really accentuates your um, features or they feel like it's a very, it's an extension of who you are. It's artistic expression here. They love that you're so independent, that you can hold your own. They love the fact that you don't need anyone. They need you. You just want someone. Okay, you're very independent financially. You're very, you're a very stable energy. They love the fact that when you make up your mind, you go out and do it here. They're a little bit in intimidated by your, your drive, your ambition here, your energy, purely because they feel like, you know, it, it's a dangerous thing when no one needs someone. Okay, and they're a little bit intimidated by that, by that in you, because you're all good on your own, and that scares people. It scares a lot of people. And this person feels as though, especially for them, there could be a bit of an insecure energy or this very feeling is making them feel insecure because they feel as though you don't need them, you're good without them. So they feel like, okay, well, what can they give to you? How do you benefit? How can you benefit from this relationship or connection if they can't give you? It feels like you already got everything here. That's how they see it. That's how they feel here. Um, you could be someone, yeah, it just... it. It's coming across as you're someone who's very financially independent, stable, or very secure, or you're on your way there, and it's kind of, and this person is a little bit taken aback, but just by just how ambitious and driven you are, okay? But they love that about you, they do. And as independent and fee, as fierce and as loyal as you are, and as much as they love that, that intimidates them a bit. You're also coming up as a very um, artistic, creative kind of energy, okay? So. I'm not sure if you've ever shared with this person that, you know, you are working on some creative endeavors or just even like, even if it's just personal projects, hobbies that you do, this person sees that you have this creative energy about you and, or you just have this knack for expressing yourself. They love that. They love that, you know, you have this creative spirit or this creative energy, this creative drive. They love that you express yourself, you know, maybe with your makeup. Okay, the makeup that you wear, the tattoos that you have inked on you, maybe it's the clothes. It's just, you're coming up as this creative energy and creative expression is coming up strongly around you. They also love that you're such a romantic, that there are certain things that you find so romantic, so sweet, so sentimental and so endearing. And it's the little things, it's the little things and it's the little things that you love and that they love about you here. Okay, um... This is someone who does put you on a pedestal. This is someone who is in awe of you. And a part of them feels like, because once you put someone on a pedestal, unfortunately you instantly create the separation of this division. And a part of them feels like 
you know, they're reaching for you, but you're so high up in the stars that you're out of reach. So it feels like, you know, you're either, they feel like you are a dream come true, a wish come true, but they also feel like you're kind of unattainable and out of league for them or out of reach. The other thing is, speaking about reaching, it's like they want to talk to you, if this is a past energy, guys, for some of you, if this is someone from the past who holds a lot of regrets of not taking that chance on you, it feels like they want to talk to you, but they can't for whatever reason. I don't know if you've blocked them or they just can't bring themselves to reach out, but it feels like they're struggling to reach you. So maybe it's because you've blocked them or maybe it's because they're struggling to reach you on a soul-like level. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please share your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.